The Bombardier Global 7500 and Global 8000 are ultra-long-range business jets under development by Bombardier Aerospace. Announced in October 2010, the program was delayed by two years by a wing redesign. The 7500, originally named the 7000, made its first flight on November 4, 2016, was type certified by Transport Canada on September 28, 2018, and entered service on 20 December 2018. The Global 8000 schedule should be determined later. Based on the Global 6000 with a new transonic wing, the longer, four-zone cabin 7500 has a range of 7,700 nmi 14,300 km, while the shorter three-zone 8000 was to reach 7,900 nmi 14,600 km. Development Announced in October 2010, the jets were initially scheduled for introduction in 2016 for the 7500 and 2017 for the 8000. In 2015, Bombardier decided to redesign the aircraft's wing and, along other development challenges, delayed the program by over two years. The goal of the redesign was to reduce the wing's weight without altering its aerodynamic profile. The aircraft fly-by-wire system architecture is based on the C-Series 1. The airframe will use aluminium-lithium alloys like the new airliner. <laughs> <laughs> Global 7500 Formerly named Global 7000, its entry into service was initially scheduled for 2016. Former Formula One driver and longtime Bombardier brand ambassador Nicky Lauda announced his order ahead of the EBACE 2015 convention. The first test aircraft underwent taxi testing in October 2016, with the first delivery scheduled for the second half of 2018. Dedicated to testing basic system functionality and assessing the handling and flying qualities of the aircraft, its maiden flight was performed on November 4, 2016, climbing to 20,000 feet 6 meters and reaching 240 knots during 2 hours 27 minutes. The production wing was in final design in February 2017 and was expected to fly on a production conforming airplane later in the same year. FTV2 flew on March 6, 2017. The powerhouse is designed to test aircraft systems, including propulsion, electrical and mechanical systems. FTV1 is used to open the performance envelope and reached Mach 0.995 on March 29, 2017. FTV3 flew on May 10, 2017. The Navigator will be used to test the avionics and electrical system performance. At the end of May 2017, the three prototypes have flown a combined 250h. The fourth prototype, used for cabin interior validation, is called the Architect, and the fifth and final, used to pave the way for the entry into service, is called the Masterpiece. The fifth has a slightly lighter production wing supplied by the Triumph Group, after a dispute over the wing weight was resolved. By mid-July 2017, the three flight test aircraft had accumulated 500 hours. On 15 August 2017, after high vibration and high inter-turbine temperature readings, the second prototype's right GE passport had an in-flight flameout at FL 410 and the aircraft went back in Wichita Airport 156 nanometers 290 kilometers away for a single engine landing. By October 2017, the four flight test aircraft had flown 900 hours and the fifth will fly another 700 to 800 hours before the type's entry into service in the second half of 2018. In April 2018, the flight test campaign surpassed 1,800 h and confirmed a range increase from 7,400 to 7,700 nmi 13,700 to 14,300 km, greater than the competing Gulfstream G650 ERs 7,500 nmi 13,900 km, but still overshadowed by the smaller Global 8000's range of 7,900 nmi 14,600 km, 200 nmi 370 km more than the Global 7500. 
as the original Global Express is developed into the Global 5500 and 6500, it is renamed Global 7500 to reflect this range increase. By the end of May 2018, the five flight test aircraft had amassed about 2,000 hours towards the type's planned entry into service at year end. By June 2018, 2,300 flight test hours had been completed by the test fleet towards certification. The first production aircraft entered the completion center in May 2018, on track to enter service in the second half of the year. Flight testing was completed by August 2018 after over 2,400 hours. Type certification and introduction into service are expected by year end, with 15 to 20 customer deliveries in 2019, as 20 aircraft were in final assembly. By September 2018, the test aircraft had flew over 2,700 hours as FTV-1 was retired from testing and repainted to be used as a demonstrator. Bombardier was expecting certification in September 2018. Transport Canada awarded its type certification on September 28, 2018. FAA type certification followed on November 7, 2018. The first should be delivered in December, and Bombardier expects to deliver 15 to 20 in 2019, then 35 to 40 in 2020, with the program sold out through 2021. After being delivered in early December, the Global 7500 entered service on 20 December with 100 secured orders. In January 2019, Bombardier announced its acquisition of the Global 7500 wing manufacturing program and facilities from Triumph Group, a deal that will close in the first quarter of 2019. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Global 8000. Entry into service was initially scheduled for 2017. The program schedule is delayed over two years, pushing Global 8000 deliveries to early 2019. Trading nearly 8 feet meters of cabin space for 600 nmi 1, kilometers of range, the Global 8000 accounted for a very small part of the backlog in December 2017 and its schedule should be determined after the Global 7500 enters service. Lacking differentiation, it could be replaced by a higher MTOW Global 7500 variant with more range. Topic: <laughs> Design. Both are stretch derivatives of the Global 6000 with a new transonic wing. They are powered by the new General Electric Passport 2016500 lbf 73 kilonewtons thrust engine with reduced NOx emissions and 8% better fuel efficiency than the Global Express XRS, allowing a Mach 0.90 high-speed cruise. As part of its effort to make the long-range aircraft comfortable for the passengers, Bombardier developed a new ergonomic passenger seat, called the Nuage. The seat design took seven years to complete. Airbus-owned Stelia supplies the main fuselage, the new, larger and lower drag wing is optimized for Mach 0.85 with a 35.3 degrees quarter cord wing sweep, a thinner thickness to cord ratio, leaner flap track fairings, improved lift to drag performance, more efficient winglets and up to 30% better low speed lift due to double slotted, inboard Fowler flaps. The new fly-by-wire flight controls with active load alleviation and the flexible, relatively highly loaded wing damps turbulence, the metal airframe uses aluminium-lithium alloys to save weight. It shares with older Globals its fuselage diameter but thinner frames increase cabin width and height by 1 in 25 mm, the 300 square in 19 square decimeters cabin windows are 80% larger, the nose cowl is recontoured, and the aft fuselage and empennage are new. Basic inspection intervals are 850 hours or 36 months, sea checks are every 12 years or 8,500 cycles and the economic life reach 17,000 cycles before life extension through intensive maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> Global 7500 Officially designated as the BD-702A12, the design is marketed as the Global 7500. It is stretched by 11 feet 3 in 3 meters from the original Global. 
It is planned to have a four zone 2637 cu feet 74.67 cu m cabin 20% more than the previous it was originally designed to cover a 7,300 nmi kilometers range at Mach 0.85 with 10 passengers. Its cabin is one third longer than competing models, providing a fourth seating section up from three, can sleep eight passengers, and offers an optional shower and a sleeping crew rest area. Bombardier marketing focused on ultra high net worth individuals and their global 7500 is the largest, longest range, roomiest and most luxurious purpose built business aircraft yet, despite the wing area smaller than the Gulfstream G650ER and 11% higher MTOW, it has lower V speeds and better runway performance due to the high lift system with leading edge slats and double slotted flaps for a similar power loading. Hourly fuel flow per engine is 500 pounds 230 kilograms at idle, 6,240 pounds 2,830 kilograms at takeoff, 1,280 to 1,370 pounds 580 to 620 kilograms in cruise at Mach 0.85, 484 knots 896 kilometers per hour Tasmania, 1,730 pounds 780 kilograms at Mach 0.9, 515 knots, 954 kilometers per hour, Tasmania, and 2,400 pounds, 1,100 kilograms at Mach 0.925, 523 knots, 969 kilometers per hour, Tasmania, around 75,000 pounds, 34,000 kilograms, and ISA conditions. An even longer range variant could reach 1000 nmi, 1900 kilometers more with another 8000 pounds, 3600 kilograms of fuel. Topic: <laughs> Global 8000 BD 702A13, marketed as the Global 8000, is stretched by 2 feet 3 in (0.69 meters) from the Global Express. It will feature a three-zone 2,236 cu feet (63.32 cu m) cabin and a range of 7,900 nmi (14,631 kilometers) at Mach 0.85, farther than any other existing business jet, and connecting Sydney to Los Angeles, Hong Kong to New York, and Mumbai to New York with eight passengers. Topic. Operational history In March 2019, a Global 7500 set the record for the longest mission ever flown by a purpose-built business jet, with a 8,152 nmi 16-hour flight from Singapore to Tucson, Arizona, the aircraft landed with fuel reserves for nearly 1.5 hours of additional flight. Gulfstream announced in April 2019 that the G650ER had surpassed this record flying 225 nanometers, 417 kilometers, farther over a time span 44 minutes shorter. The Global 7500 also broke the business jet speed record for a flight from Van Nuys Airport near Los Angeles to Teterboro Airport near New York in under 4 hours, cruising at Mach 0.925 for much of the flight. Topic. Orders While Bombardier is not publishing a specific backlog, industry analyst Roland Vincent estimated that 200 orders had accumulated by the time of the first flight in November 2016, mostly for the 7500 version. Including the global 5,500 and 6,500, Bombardier expects to deliver 90 to 100 globals a year by 2021, up from 40 in 2018, with four 7,500 a month, and higher if needed. Luxury charter Vistajet has a deal to purchase up to 30 units, with first delivery scheduled at the end of 2019. NetJets, the largest fractional jet provider, will take up to 20 global 7500s, and Hong Kong management firm HK Bellorings Jet has 18 global 6500 and 7500s orders and options. The Global 7500 had 100 secured orders as it entered service on 20 December 2018.
Topic: Specifications. Topic: See also. Related development. Bombardier Global Express aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era. Airbus ACJ. Boeing BBJ. Gulfstream G650. Related lists List of civil aircraft